powerful powers activate! Hey Internet, I'm Steve and welcome to Raffo. In two weeks, Secret Project 3 is being released electronically for Year of Sanderson Kickstarter backers. Then, ten days later, for everyone else! They also are going to be shipping those, like, immediately, which is really exciting. So here's everything we know about Secret Project 3, Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. From the preview chapters on Brandon's website, we actually get a lot of information. The story focuses on two main characters, Nikaro, known as Painter, and Yumi. Their stories take place on two separate worlds, likely some sort of binary system, with painters being a dark, almost cyberpunk setting of cities engulfed in shadow and lit with twin neon lights of teal and magenta, and Yumi on a blisteringly hot landscape, with plants evolving to stay away from the ground, riding on thermals and absorbing nutrients from the air. Both Painter and Yumi are artists of their own sort. Painter literally traps nightmare monsters with ink and canvas, and Yumi's like those annoying people who do this on hiking trails, but like a million times better. And she's actually supposed to, in order to commune with spirits. Their planets are near the place where Virtuosity splintered herself. Yep, another shard. So artistic talent being a focus for a couple of magic systems makes sense. Similar to Tress, this story is told by Hoyd, who even makes kind of a cameo in Chapter 5 as part owner of a noodle restaurant. He finally got his noodles! Because of this, as well as some other hints dropped in the text, we know that this story takes place after Stormlight probably well after. Design is running the noodle shop, wearing a complicated light-woven not-meat suit, so he figured out how to get Spren off-world, and Hoyt is telling this story to someone from Roshar. Chols are mentioned, and Painter apparently appears Vaden. This story is heavily influenced by anime. Basically the movie Your Name, but instead of full body switching, the original Resident is along for the ride like a ghost familiar who probably tells you you're doing everything wrong. No. Bad move. Nuh-uh. You suck at this. GO AWAY! It was originally inspired by the manga and eventual anime Hikaru no Go, where a kid finds a Go board, the oldest board game in the world, that's haunted by the spirit of a player a thousand years ago, who teaches him how to play. Sounds horrifically boring, but it's one of the best-selling mangas out there, so apparently it's pretty good. If you've read or watched Hikaru no Go, tell me about it in the comments. Or on my Discord! With these sources, there's a lot of references to various Asian cultures, which is really fun. Brandon served a mission in Korea, so we're getting some significant stuff there, too. The use of the clogs, these things, on a planet whose surface is scalding is just great world building. With all of these stories, we're starting to see the Cosmere ironically get smaller and smaller, Similar themes and mechanisms are popping up on different planets. We first saw Midnight Essence in Stormlight, then again in Tress, and it seems like a variant of that is what's creating the nightmares on Painter's World. Self-aware invested beings were in Brandon's first book, The Seons of Elantris, and then were significantly expanded on with Spren on Roshar, and now similar entities appear under Yumi's command. Even the importance of numerology, the number 16 on Scadriel, 9 and 10 on Roshar, seems to be present in this book, with implications towards 12 and 13. Yumi does the whole Fibonacci sequence with her rocks. Golden ratio, another art thing. Speaking of artists, we have a very special shout-out today to none other than Steve Argyle, who has achieved the status of World Hopper on my Patreon. I mean, he's Stargyle on Roshar and Illustrated Frugal Wizard. Pretty sure John is based on his own likeness. So he's been on a lot of different planets already, but it's a huge honor to have his support. If you'd like to join Steve in the ranks, as well as Doug, Matt, and everyone else, my Patreon is linked in the description, and gives you early access to my weekly videos, plus a load of other benefits. I'm working on merch, guys. Hop on if you want some. Yumi and the Nightmare Painter is coming. Brandon has said this is his favorite of all the secret projects, so I can't wait to read and find out. Raffle powers, activate! Ow! That was from my toes.